Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 privacy tools for 2023. Now, this is a combination of paid and free tools. Some of them will require you to pay for them, um, and some are otherwise completely free to use. I'm going to be putting links for every one of these tools in the description down below whether paid or free. The links that are for paid products that generally have some kind of discount or incentive there to click on those specific links. And the free ones will just be very convenient for you to visit and check out these services. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about some of these services. So guys, the first thing we're gonna be recommending is one of my favorite products to use is going to be a VPN. I personally use TorGuard VPN, but you can also check out other options like Nord, Hi.me, or Proton. I would say that these four are my top recommended options. And on VPNTierList.com, I've made a quiz that will help you choose from those select options to help you find which is the best one. If you're interested, check out the quiz on the website. You could find that by clicking on this link um, right here. That will take you to the quiz and it will help you choose the best VPN for your specific need. So if you're looking for a VPN in 2023, make sure to check out the quiz. Second up on the list is a data removal service. This will remove results from websites like white pages. Basically, this is almost more important than a VPN depending on who you are. If you're someone like me or a content creator, this is extremely important. You don't want someone finding out your real name or asking you with your in real life information, like your phone number, address, and stuff like that. Not only that, but if you're a female or a woman who is having a harasser online, you also don't want them being super creepy, finding out where you live and stuff like that. So incognito is super useful for honestly, most people who want to remove real life information from data brokers that collect it and sell it. Um, it's really hard to do this by yourself and it's very time intensive. So this is a fully automated way to get a service to email those websites like white pages to remove stuff about you. Honestly, really nice. So next up, we have a service called Goms Go. This isn't necessarily privacy related, but a cool product nonetheless that I've recommended here on the channel. Now, what this does is lets you share an account with other users. And I did want to mention it here on the channel because there is a big um, um, audience of users who uses privacy tools like VPN to option fee and bypass due restrictions that Netflix enforces. So in the combination with the VPN plus something like GomsGo, you can share a subscription for Netflix with other users. Um, and this still should be working going on in the future with Netflix doing their password sharing stuff. I've talked to GomsGo representatives and they're confident that it's still gonna work. They might have to rework some of the things on the website, but it will still work. And this is a great way to get Netflix and other streaming services for cheaper. Use my code in the description down below. I'll put it there. I think it's something like Spark. It should give you anywhere between 5 to 10% off, which makes it even cheaper. You could get Netflix for as little as $3.87 a month, which is like a fifth of the price of the normal Netflix subscription, as well as other services too. So definitely a cool service. Another service I like to recommend here on the channel is Malwarebytes. Now this is my go-to antivirus, anti-malware kind of device on my computer. It will prevent you from getting um, hacked and stuff like that as well as protect you against viruses it will actually actively protect you from going to sketchy websites as well so that's one thing i really do like about it it's a pretty good company the application is extremely lightweight and you never even know it's running in the background and also the good news is it hardly ever causes issues with vpns which is a must for me on the channel I've tried out some other more beefy things like bitdefender and some of those ones but honestly they're just more um um computer intensive and they, they take more computer memory to run and also they will frequently cause issues with VPNs and I've found that for the most part almost anyone will be happily satisfied with Malwarebytes if you look at some of the ratings and um, scores of how well it detects viruses and malware and stuff like that it does completely fine so for all intents and purposes this is the go-to uh, antivirus anti-malware kind of thing you should put on your computer it's a perfect complement to Windows Defender or just on its own as a complete package so definitely my top recommended antivirus next up we're going to be talking about encrypted email now formerly on the channel i really like private mail made by torguard but lately i've been recommending something called skiff more often now skiff is a completely free product to use that has a premium plan but the one thing i like about skiff is that it's just so easy to use and they really do seem to care about the design and graphical user interface. Look how cool this website is. This goes to show you how much work they're putting into it. And I see people talking about Skiff all the time on Twitter, how much they like it. 
honestly this is one of the better services out there that's almost completely free to use um like i said there is a premium version but they are very generous in their free version giving you pretty much everything access although limiting some storage and stuff like that now the cool thing about skiff is it not only includes an encrypted email but it also includes privacy friendly kind of google docs calendar and drive features so check out skiff definitely a cool service i recommend and use myself Next up, if we're talking about my favorite browser for 2023, it's still gonna be Brave. Now Brave has just been getting better and better, and honestly, it's the best default integration of privacy features out of any browser. You'll find other comparisons just like this on other websites, and Brave just natively puts things the way they should without requiring much configuration. This means Brave is very good for new users and advanced users alike, and it's also computable, com compatible with all the basic Chrome extensions. So you can put all sorts of extensions on it, proxies, even more um, ad blocking stuff, and it's perfectly compatible. It's fast, also, works well on other devices like phones too. So really a no brainer and I do prefer it over something like Firefox since I do like the compatibility with Chrome extensions and how it just works out of the box with the most privacy things I need. Also the ad blocking on it is really good too. Next up, if we're talking about a private messenger, I like something like Simple X. Now Simple X is even more private than something like Signal. It doesn't require uh, any user ID, which makes it the most anonymous application. It's also self-hostable, and you can even use their service if you want. But again, it doesn't even require stuff like phone numbers. So if you're really looking for the most anonymous application out there, try Simple X. The only con is there's no PC application, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it works perfectly on the App Store and Google Play stores as well. It's even available on F-Droid and those things as an APK. So it's gonna be good for something like Graphene OS too. All right, guys, next up, we have something privacy.com. Now privacy.com is a virtual digital credit card service primarily for those in the US. I'm not sure if there's any outside of the US, but the cool thing about this service, it lets you privately control how you give away payment information to websites. The way with privacy.com works is you're creating a digital card that you could pause or delete at any time. This makes it especially useful for subscription services. I signed up for HelloFresh, and after two months, I decided I didn't really like it anymore, but I didn't want to go to the hassle of actually canceling the service in the website since it's pretty obfuscated and difficult to do. Luckily, something like privacy.com lets you take control of your payments. I could just pause and cancel my HelloFresh subscription without even bothering with them. They've been emailing me for a couple months, and then they finally giving up, realized they weren't going to get the money that they tried charging me even though I didn't want to subscribe to their service anymore. If I'm not paying them, they should stop asking me for payment. They should stop trying to send me boxes. If no payment is coming through, cancel your subscription. That's how it should be. This is how it works with privacy.com. I'll have my link in the description down below, a little referral code. If you click on that, I should be able to get like five bucks. You might be able to get five bucks, something like that. So check out that link for privacy.com down in the description down below. All right, guys, that's about it. A quick video of all my favorite privacy products in 2023. Make sure to check out the VPN tier list if you're unsure about which VPN to use. I also have some of these recommended products here as well in the main section of the, the, the tier list. And like I said, I'll have links for all the description uh, in the description for all the products I recommended in this video. And let me know down in the comments down below if I miss something you like and you're, and you're using a lot in 2023. And I'll see you again very soon.